you want to know how the inside of my brain has been looking, just look at my room. Yeah, it's cotton really bad. And for the last couple of months, I've been in the biggest slump of my life. My ADHD has been really ADHD. -ing. This all ends today. And I'm getting my life back together. First things first, we need to start by doing the ultimate decluttering and deep cleaning of my room. We're gonna do a massive closet clean out. I'm gonna be giving my closet the prettiest DIY makeover. So without further ado, grab a snack and let's begin by taking a closer examination of the horrors of my bedroom. I think the best course of action would be to initially just tidy everything off the floor, make my bed, just get things livable looking, and then we'll get into the nitty gritty. In my room right now, what we're working with, Ooh. I just have random clothes here. I don't know why it's so hard for me to just put them in the hamper. This situation up here has just become a dumping ground. This little basket, I was keeping like blankets in and it was really cute at first, but now it's just become like a very aesthetic junk basket. There's just random stuff. When it's a total mess, I literally, like, can't think. think. <laughs> There's actually literally no better feeling than after you put on your fresh clean sheets and you just lay down. I, I feel like, have we deserved a nap? I feel like we just did so much. Okay, 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 I hear you. Get up and do more, just give me like a minute. I swear I never want to do it in the moment, but it is so satisfying to clear things off the floor, dust and wipe down all the surfaces, and deal with the mysterious things that we forgot about that we shoved in the back of the drawers. As soon as I finished doing this, I literally started to feel better like decently clean behind me right now, right? Let me just show you a little something. This is the part of my room that I've been putting off the most because I'm just kind of like horrified to begin. This side especially is like scaring me. It's like stuffed to the ceiling up there, which I hate. We're just gonna take everything out and then only put back in what we really need. We're gonna be brutal because this is way too much stuff. These shorts I wore a ton last summer, so I'll keep. This was one of the first dresses I made. I got this like at the end of fall, never really had a chance to wear it. But look, it has little bows and a bear. I pretty much have a vision for this dress, so I'm gonna keep it. This high neck is everything. Crazy, but I'm gonna be selling this one. I don't think I'm gonna wear it much. Same with this. I don't think I'll be wearing it again, even though it was really cute. This is a sell. It says, always wear me on a first date, you'll do great. <laughs> so cute. This might be my favorite dress. I always wanna wear this and then I never wear it. So I think we're gonna give this away. Keep, isn't this one so pretty? What do you guys think? Should I keep this one? I'm obsessed with these overalls. This vintage 1950s dress that I just got a little bit ago is an obvious keep. I'm gonna give this one away. Same with this skirt. I like never wore it this fall, so we're gonna give that away too. I thrifted this like right at the end a fall. That is so cute. Like the only pants I'm keeping are trousers. Good morning. So we have this bag as well as this bag and probably at least one more bag because I have stuff down in the bottom area of pieces from our closet cleanup that I know I want to give away. Today we're going to get into the organizational part which is what I'm most excited for because I just love making things look pretty. Help with that, I got some accessories. I got these like wire baskets. You can stack like workout stuff in here. And I, I also got this other like drawer set thing that used to be good for like pants to like stack them. Stop there because what I'm most excited for is making the inside of the closet actually look really cute. I have a vision and I want it to literally just look like a princess closet. So for that, we need one thing and one thing only. Dun, 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 dun. This is what I'm most excited for. Looking at the bottom of this closet, I found this collection of teapots I started last summer. This one's so cute. We're gonna just like not use one of the racks and put this in the closet instead. Let's see if it fits. 
still good. Okay, so the first thing I had to deal with was these ghastly shelves. Over here when I moved in and this pattern is just reminding me from something really strange and specific from the 2000s. It was freaking me out and it also had this very suspicious stain. <gasps> so I took them all out and I was kind of scared to remove the paper because ew, it was just gross. So like any other problem in my life, I decided to just cover it up and never have to think about it again. Yay. I literally just heavy duty taped the paper on and called it a day. Oh my gosh, doesn't it look so good? Highly suggest contact paper to spice up your closet or your drawers. It is so cute and such an easy way to add some character to your space. It's so pretty. <laughs> I decided to put that one like that because really you can't, you really only see the underside of it. Also, I think I'll have room to get another one of these in here and still be able to pull out the drawer. So eventually I think I'm gonna do that. And cause we obviously can't just stop there. Time for this. I'm gonna cry. The room is coming together so well. Game changer, I actually like this side of the room now. Now we just need to deal with that. We need to deal with my dresser because it has literally just become a graveyard for where like any little trinket goes. 11-11, make a wish, make a wish everybody. The older I get, the more I realize that sometimes simple really is better. I feel like when I was younger, I would just try to fill every single surface. Realizing that when my surfaces actually just don't have as much stuff on top of them, I just feel so much better. You can still have like such pretty little corners and spaces, but not every single surface has to be filled. And oftentimes less is more. <laughs> Oh, all behind me is a giant quilt, right? Wrong. I'm hiding this basket. Who knows what in it? This basket was supposed to be to help me stay a little bit more organized, to put like extra blankets or fabric and like sewing projects I'm working on. I have a couple things that I wanna sew, like this dress, I wanna flip it. This vintage quilted jacket I got. <laughs> So cute. This quilt I got off Facebook Marketplace for $10 and I wanna make it into a jacket and maybe also like a couple tote bags. There's this thing that sometimes happens to me and I think it means that the room decluttering is working because when I finally do feel some space to think, I can then execute on the creative ideas bouncing around in my head. So then I hyper-focus on it till it's done. So when my brain says make a dress, it's time to make a dress. Okay, so I'm in the middle of cleaning, right? And I find this. I think that we can take a little brief intermission and we can make this into like a really cute little sundress. So I spent the rest of my energy for the rest of that day reshaping this top and then ruffling so many ruffles. I then sewed together to make into a skirt and before I knew it, we had the cutest spring and summer set. Oh my goodness. Okay, but seriously, I feel like this is proof that room declutters work because last week I was sobbing on the couch and my boyfriend had to help me plug in my computer because that small thing felt like too impossible of a task and then today I made this. So I think the room declutter is pulling me out from the depths of a slump and I'm defrosting. If this is not your sign to clean your room, I don't know what is. We are at the finishing stages of this room clean but i feel like we have successfully like welcomed spring i feel like my room is just looking so springtime right now the very last step i want to do is a little vacuum <laughs> and then the very last step is to wipe down all of the mirrors there's not that many mirrors and i'm actually looking for a new mirror so that'll be my room like makeover video. I feel like this is the cleanest my room has been ever since I moved in. This is crazy, but I think, I think we're done. <gasps> I feel so much more at peace 
literally i feel like a different person than when i started this video when i started this video i literally felt like my life was falling apart i had no motivation for anything i was falling behind with like my work and stuff in school and now i feel like a cloud has been lifted and just swept away i feel like i can think again I can hear my thoughts and I'm feeling very excited for spring. I hope that you all really enjoyed this video. If you liked it and you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe. I would love if you would stick around. I have a lot of things that I'm working on for the spring and so many videos planned. Comment so. down below any videos that you are really excited to see from me from spring. I love hearing your ideas and I hope this video inspires you to clean your room too because seriously like, cleaning out my closet has made me feel so much better in so many ways. I'm rooting for you. I'm cheering you on and if you can just make your bed today, that's a win. I love you. Mwah.